My name is Irena Swanson and today I want to show you how to make four patch blocks very fast and efficiently and even better how to sew them to solid square blocks such as in this one. Uh, this quilt measures 60 inches by 64 inches. It has 124 patch blocks. It has 120 adjacent solid squares. So there's a total of 600 squares here and they were sewn together with only 52 seams total. That's amazing. Um, I use the method that I call enhanced strip piecing and no tubes are involved. So to reproduce this, you will need two yards of the solid block fabric and for each of the two four patch fabrics, you will need one and an eighth of a yard. For these two fabrics of each, you will cut strips from selvage to selvage, one of width 2.5 inches and seven of width 5 inches. Then you will take your strips and you will sew them together alternating colors and the two narrow strips will be on the outside. Your construction will be much wider because you will have 1 plus 1 plus 7 plus 7 strips and yours will also be longer because your strips will be cut from selvage to selvage. Once you sew everything, you press seam allowances either all in one direction or all towards the darker of the two fabrics. And then you start cutting perpendicular to the seams uh, into pieces of width two and a half inches. You will get 16 such pieces. Once you have two of them, you rotate one in a pair and you sew them together this way or that way. It doesn't matter which you choose. Here are two examples. Uh, note how uh, the red square in the top row in one sample it's on the left and the other it's on the right. Um, for my construction I made all uh, of these eight pairs to be the same. So always red uh, on the same side. These are four and a half inches wide and yours will be 67 and a half inches long. So at this point you have to cut strips from the solid square fabrics of the same width, and so four and a half inches wide, and the length should be 67 and a half inches or possibly longer. Longer is even better, you can trim off later. So you will have eight pieced things like this and eight strips of the solid fabrics and you sew those together interspersing the two kinds and it is very important that the seams in the pieced strips in the pieced parts uh, match up across the unpieced strips so to accomplish that you should do some marking in the margins of the solid strips every four and a half inches where you will do where you will be uh, matching seams um, once it's all sewn, you press all seam allowances towards the solid uh, fabrics and then you cut down the middle of these wider strips. So I already did the cutting and we're almost done. You take every other one of these columns, you rotate it around. So here's one and I leave the next one the same and rotate the next one and we get pretty much the final version. Well, not quite. Let's look at this a little more carefully. The slants of the red diagonals can uh, are different and here they're interspersed in the different columns and notice it doesn't matter uh, if you rotate or not, the slant remains the same. So we do have two different slants in the quilt top. The way I managed it here is I put all the dark slants of one kind at the bottom and different slant on top. If you want a quilt top that has all of the slants in the same way, then I recommend the following modification. You do everything that we have done so far before this, this repositioning you do everything twice. So you need twice the amount of fabric, twice the number of seams, and then you will use half of the strips 
for one of the two quilts and the other strips for the other for the second quilt so with 104 seams and with double the fabric that I said you will have two quilt tops one with dark slants pointing this way and the other one with dark slants pointing the other way okay um, another way of resolving this is uh, we can go back and you could rather than sewing these uh, pieced strips to other solid strips you could just cut uh, across to form individual four patch blocks and then once you have an individual four patch block if you just rotate it you get the other slant see two different slants okay. however if you do the cutting at this stage uh, you will need many more seams and much many more pieces flying around so it will the making of the quilt will not be as efficient but there are other times when uh, you do want to have um, individual four patch blocks and then these individual four patch blocks can for example be enclosed with triangles on all four sides and then these uh, triangles can be even continued further so to this piece you want to add further triangles in the corners and uh, if you do that even more, you get the top that this pattern is called Indiana Puzzle or Snail's Trail. Okay. And um, it is possible to get uh, four patch blocks on the uh, on point. So here are rows of four patch on point, and uh, the. I made these with a slight modification of the method for making these, but I needed to use two pieces here, but that's material for another uh, video. Okay. Uh, if you want to know more about working on tubes, visit my www.tubepiecing.com.